The last time I was here, I sold a bunch of my sneaker collection for one peso each. If you guys want to see that video, I'll leave it linked down below. But we are here, in fact, at Cop Garden in Manila, Philippines. Now, they have a new mural, which is pretty cool. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I figured I would stop by the store here today, show you guys what they have available at the moment, and uh, you know, show you guys what you can expect when you do come to Cop Garden here in Manila. All right, let's take a look at the NMDs. And I gotta say, Cop Garden has a really good selection of these NMD trail runners right here and the regular NMD. So I'll take a quick look. These human maids I actually copped in, uh, in Canada. I'm getting so many compliments on these shoes actually on Instagram. So you guys love these shoes and I love the hearts on these shoes. These are actually in store here at Cop Garden for 13,000 pesos, size 10. They also got these like Oreo ones right here. Probably one of the more uh, hyped up ones before the hype started to die. Really like this pair. This one right here, the hype was pretty much gone for, I, I want to say for the most part. And these are going for, uh, ooh, not bad. 18,000, size 9.5. I remember seeing these at the uh, the Adidas outlets. We saw these at the Adidas outlets. These two. I think this was one of my favorites from that pack that they did for this uh, particular version. We also got these like blue teal ones right here. These are also brand new. These are size 7. We got the green, but no yellow and no red ones. We also have a ton of off-white, the golf shoes right here. I've seen anti-shoe expert, you guys know DJ Big Boy Chang's friend, who is wearing these like casually just like a regular shoe not golfing or anything over here we got these solar hues and some ultra boost these are the uh the undefeated ones they did so they have both colorways the red and the black we also have a bunch of game of thrones air max selection we have a few air max ones we have these i think i forget the exact name i think it's like susan something but these really remind me of woody from toy story these just dropped as well and they actually have fakes of these at green hills which was very very surprising the sketch air max one this is basically like a schematic so i wouldn't really call this a sketch because this is like a sketch you know with the, the shading going on but this is a air max one schematic you can see all the labels and everything right here i don't really think they would have made this shoe if they had never did the whole off-white collection these are cool though i wonder if anyone's done any like coloring in projects or customs because i think this is a perfect blank canvas for a custom now moving on to a uh, air max i think that flop the air max 90 mars landing now the moon landing those ones those are fire the silver pair the gray pair and uh, they have really high reset value but the mars these ones flopped i just think it's because it's such a hard color to wear the gray ones or the 3m reflective ones are more of a more of an easier colorway you can wear with most outfits but this right here not as easy so i think some people even like bought these and returned them to some stores now i have no idea what these are right here but these are nice oh my gosh size they're my size size 10 for 10,000 pesos i really like the suede material they have on here the sort of mesh as well it's not even mesh it's like that you guys know that like rubbery material on the air jordan 4 that side panel that's what it feels like here i really like the red the yellow with the blue that sort of reminds me of like a gundam if you guys ever watched like gundam wing or something this color scheme really screams gundam to me Ooh, i like the lace tips too very premium with those copper aglets on the lace tips such a nice shoe Next up, let's take a look at the Air Jordan 1s. They have an absolute ton of them. Like this, this entire row here is all Jordan 1s. So if you love 1s, this is one spot you guys need to stop by. I despise these. I don't like these at all. I hate the leather upper. I hate the barcode on the back. This is a straight pass for me. I told you guys these were one of the worst sneakers you could buy at the mall. So let me throw those back. These ones here, they're a little bit better. I feel like this is a Tom Stefanik shoe right here. This is his size too, speak of the devil. One shoe I do mess with are the uh, the NYC to Paris. I picked up a pair of these for my personal rotation and I uh, haven't really worn them yet, so I should probably break these out. These right here are one of the most underrated Jordans of the year, the Air Jordan 1 Gym Red. This is size 10.5 for 12K and honestly, why, why were these sitting? I think these are still sitting in Toronto, but I might have to buy a few more pairs because I feel like the value for these ones are gonna go up. These right here are again, another underrated Jordan 1 for the year. I think 
these were called the Defiance, and uh, these are 13,000 pesos, size nine. The court purple's right here. I think this is the only pair of Air Jordan 1s in Tim's collection. I remember buying these with him. We also got the clay greens as well. I uh, I think, I, yeah, I owned these at one point and I sold them. I definitely regret selling them. These right here are my favorite from that pack that they did with the suede, uh, the suede back panel. These yellows right here, I think they're called the Orchards. So, so nice. I think size 10s are usually around 500 to 550 Canadian, and I really don't want to pay that much for them. Cop Garden has these for a pretty solid price, I think, 15K, size 11. And uh, I'm looking forward to the yellow toe, if those ever will drop. But these right here will satisfy my uh, yellow Air Jordan 1 craving. So if I can find the size 10 for the right price, it's going to have to happen. Rookie of the years, another underrated shoe. These sat in Texas, and I ended up buying three pairs. I flipped two of them for, I think, double retail. And I have one for my personal collection. This is also, uh, you could consider these like the poor man's cactus jack jordan ones just because of the the sort of color palette it's not that deep dark chocolate brown it's more of like a, a beige sand but i still think these would definitely uh, fulfill your cravings for that kind of shoe in your uh, wardrobe for your outfits these right here i completely overlooked i never even thought about buying these it was a release that just came and gone and i sort of regret not trying to buy these uh, it's not too often they release blue air jordans and i think they did a really good job on these ones these are a size eight going for 23k the money size size eight look at the price differences here so size 8 is 23k but if you go to tom sizing the size 12s i believe those are the less profitable sizes the less sought after because not as many people are a size 12 these are 11k so a huge difference in price maybe if you are size 8 and you want to save some money just wear like 20 pairs of socks and you're good We got the Spider-Man ones right here, obviously inspired by the Chicago ones. I watched the Spider-Man movie in the Philippines, actually at a movie theater just uh, just nearby from Cop Garden. And I love the movie. I love the shoes. That's uh, something I'd be lying about. I hate these shoes, actually. I think the uh, little textures right here look like chicken pox. So these, uh, these Jordan ones have a disease I just, I don't want on my feet. Taking a look at the Yeezy selection of the dad shoe stuff. And they have a bunch of the dad shoes right here. The 500s, the 700s, the 700 V2s. We got a bunch of Element React 87s here as well. Right here is the uh, predominantly like use section. I think it's just the only use section they have in the store. So if you're looking to save some money, they actually have some pretty solid prices on some of the shoes here. I'll show you guys my favorites and the best, I think, value you can get right now. These Jordan 3 Black Cement, these are a size 10 and uh, these are only going for 9k pesos this is a straight steal 9,000 pesos like someone come buy these right now or else i'm going to buy them these right here might be one of my favorite sneakers at cop garden and they're at a very very affordable price point these are the air jordan one pinnacle the black colorway and these are my favorite from that sort of pinnacle pack that they did the black and gold i'm a sucker for anything with that combo has a really luxurious premium look to it and uh, these are actually going for 15,000 pesos size 10 these are almost brand new like i would say these are a 9.5 out of 10 condition and that is below retail so if you wanted to save some money scoop these up because these go for i think 100 to 150 or 200 dollars over retail if you buy them brand new so you know have someone wear the shoes once for you and pick these up for a steal at cop garden size 10 why is it gotta be my size man i'm not trying to buy shoes right now why now they do have my grails right here actually it's, it's my size though it's in my size size 12 okay good not my size, so I don't feel as bad. I think that is about, I wanna say just under $300 Canadian. So I'll have the prices up on screen. You also have a bunch of Cactus Jack Jordan 4s. So if you wanna save some money on those, you got them here. And then here is just a general look at the rest of the used sneakers. Now they actually just set up the used selection right here yesterday. I just asked Adrian, the owner, and he said, this is a totally new thing they're starting to do. And I really like it. You know, if you're trying just to save some money and look for some used shoes, this is the quickest way. You can just stop by real quick, look at the wall, see something, pick it out, you're good to go. If you wanna spend a bit more money, maybe get a new pair, then they have the rest of the store always here for you. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys this like heat corner of Cop Garden. This is where they store the most expensive shoes that they have, the heat, the most hype stuff. So if you're a hype beast, this is your area. But I have Adrian, the owner, and uh, he's, gonna, right. he's gonna walk us through some of these shoes right here and he'll give us some background on if he has a pair or something like that. So let's check in with Adrian and see what they have at Cop Garden. Here we keep a little bit of the hype, especially the DS hype, just so um, they stay clean. And normally we try to keep like the more hype 
ones mm -hmm. currently in the store. So we got the LA to Chicago's, which at first we didn't think much of when they released here. And then prices just skyrocketed like crazy. These just released, if I'm not mistaken, today. A local store is here in Manila. The SVB 3.0s. We got this actually, I want to say like two weeks early. If they weren't so shiny, mm -hmm. they'd probably be nicer. And this like weird age. Yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know. I think the peg was, it, it, was, it was supposed to look like glass-ish. Mm -hmm. Both colorways of yeah, the definitely. Union. Fear of Gods. We got the sail blacks and then the one of the first. Have you seen anyone wear these in the Philippines? Because I feel like this is not a shoe that is yeah. like heat friendly here I in I saw Manila. a couple guys wear them. Depends how you dress it. A lot of people compared the... To those. Uh, the yeah, yeah, I mean, they're these, similar. In terms they're of there. shape, they're like a boot almost. Yeah. Like a, a futuristic uh, Star Wars kind yeah. of boot. And over here, we got the Travis Scott 1s yeah. and 6s. All Would you the say these are sneaker of the year? How do you feel about these shoes? Give me your honest opinion. I guess they were being compared to these. Mm -hmm. The MCAs? And I guess Sakai's were in that discussion as well. I guess because of the hype and the whole, you know, Travis and everything he did this year and the Netflix and all the albums and everything. I mean, I guess it'll win. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet yeah what sneaker of the year is because i mean you still got a couple months left you don't know what could come out i mean this is definitely up there i had a pair of these again i actually traded them in for the lows which you got on feet which i got on uh, okay yeah. just because like you said in manila i don't know it's just easier to wear lows i want to talk about something that happened recently here actually oh, yeah. in manila we have a photo over there so let's just walk over there real quick and uh, i want to get the story behind yeah. this so can you explain this photo some people in the philippines will know about this this is an amazing amazing photo can you explain real quickly maybe like in a minute to two yeah. minutes this is 30 Ravenna of the ateneo blue eagles so we had a pair of the eu exclusives uh the off-whites that actually was consigned here and it was actually Carl Opless pair. Well, I came up with the idea of trying to sponsor like kicks for players on court. And then my friend Josh was like, yo, why don't we go reach out to 30? And so I brainstormed and we came up with the idea and everything. We contacted 30, he was game for it. And mm -hmm. then he wore it on the game, in the game against La Salle, which was two weeks ago. We wrote Air Event on one side and then on either side, like outside, inside, and then we put at Cup Garden on this side and this side. The game went good. I was nervous they would lose because they were they're on a winning streak. They haven't lost a game this season. Mm -hmm. I was scared they would lose. They he hurt himself because like J1s are a little hard to play in. And so no, he did good. They won. And then this shot came out um, with a photographer that I guess posted it. Then he posted it and it was the coolest feeling because like um, the whole time I was nervous whether you know a photographer would get the shot, especially on this side because that's where we wrote our name. The fact that that came out and then he posted it, tagged us with like quote unquote good win. Yeah, it was really cool. And um, a lot of people have been asking like, are we gonna do it again, do it again? And the funny story is I texted him the night after the game and we were talking about it and he told me that the shoe did break um, on the toe box. Obviously you can still wear it to go out and whatever, hang out. Mm -hmm. But that's it for playing and so i like it that it ends with that story because it's like like the masterpiece because like the picture was great the attention was great he enjoyed it i mean it was like like that's it like you can't top it it's a one of those pictures that you know has a thousand words and like it was really cool that's kind of what happened there and yeah it was it was one of those unforgettable experiences definitely for us on that note we're going to do the comment question of the day for the yeezy boost 350 v2 citrin giveaway i am running for these philippine vlogs so if you guys want to enter all you got to do is subscribe to my channel hit that red button down below subscribe to my second channel sneaker talk 365 i'll leave that link down below as well hit that thumbs up button and comment letting me know what your favorite sneaker was from today's video if you like this video please binge watch the rest of my vlogs there's a philippine playlist so put no pride on my on my filipinos out there just check out that playlist it'll make you happy and uh yeah i'm gonna go eat some jollibee now i'll catch you guys later peace out